And I got the new gasket. There it is. And I also got brand new screws. And these are hex. And it uses a 532nd um, Allen tool. You have to get new ones because the old ones, if you try to torque them down, they're going to strip. And you can see it right here, it is stripped. And you don't want that. I almost had one stuck on the block trying to put it on. So here, I'm going to go ahead and put these new ones on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started on putting these back on. this little one right here let's see if i could get around this gear and get it in there i don't know okay. it took some doing but i got it in there i actually had to turn the crank just a little bit a fraction just so that i could get my allen in between there and I torqued it down to 12 foot pounds of torque. All of these are going to be 12 foot pounds. All of these are going to be 12 foot pounds. Make sure it's in there. Now, let's see if I was to take this out again. I will not reuse these bolts again, that's for sure. It's like a one-time use, I think. Damn it, once you tighten them up, they're hard to get off. I have, I bought this one. This one is the uh, 3 8 Husky uh, Torque. I have the big one, the half inch, but it doesn't go below 20 foot pounds. And then I have the small one for a quarter inch, but that one don't go above, I think, uh, 10 foot pounds or something like that. So this one goes as low as five foot pounds of torque. I set it to 11.6, so I'm not gonna go totally to 12. Now the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the water pump. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's, you know, look how far I'm into the whole job. Might as well go ahead and replace all I'm at. Damn it. Wasn't expecting that channel for you to come out of there. Ah. Crap. That was unexpected. Uh, anyway. Here's the old one. Two old rings. This one don't have it, so I gotta put two new ones on. It came with the order. Alright, so the kit came with two new O rings. I'm gonna go ahead and put them on. Very basic. And that is it.
There you go. Okay, the water pump, I'm going to tighten it at 85 foot, inch pound of torque. Inch, not foot, inch. All right, now I got this on. I got the water pump replaced. While I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the thermostat. comes out. We got a brand new gasket for it. Oh wow. Alright, well never seen that before. The thermostat is screwed down. Now, the thing about the thermostat that it comes together with the housing, which, you know, like I said before, is kind of unusual for me. Okay, so the thermostat housing gets torqued down to 74 inch pound. Let's see, 74. Right there, I guess. Now I did something that I wouldn't recommend, but I did it myself because I didn't feel like turning this engine since I put that plug and the the uh, that special tool in the back to hold the crank from spinning, and I didn't I didn't set the engine on timing. But I did was I marked the transmit the uh, timing chain with the gear. I did the same thing right there too, you know, and down here. See, once the chain goes in, so everything is back right the way it was when I took it out. Alright, so I did put this plunger back, I mean I put this uh, chain tensioner right there, and now I'm working on this deal. Now, <clears throat> one of the ways, you gotta push this little tab here, insert the plunger, <clears throat> let it go, and then push the plunger in some more, so that it exposes that little hole. And you shove something in there that'll fit. Like that. And that'll hold it in place. Let me come back over here. Okay. There you go. And it's under tension again. My marks still look good there. It's still good there. And I'm still good there. Now this right here, the um, primary chain tensioner, this gets torqued down to 72 inch pounds. Now the chain tensioner itself gets torqued to 12 foot pounds. Okay. 
part of the kit. I'm going to go ahead and replace the O-rings. These are the O-rings that go right here in the oil galley gasket. I put the new one on. Kind of snaps in there. Hopefully, it stays there. All right. Now I'm ready to put on this timing cover back onto the engine. Now, what I have done, which I haven't shown in the video, because I mean, it's just it was just simple. I just cleaned up the edges really, really good. Everywhere that this, oh, I gotta clean that up a little bit more here. But uh, yeah, I just gotta clean it up. Um, inside there, there's like a little groove, you know, I dug a pick and I was able to gouge that out with all the, uh, silicone out of there. Same thing here, here, so, I have replaced that, um, front main seal. And that's it. So now, I'm going to put on this ultra gray gasket maker and I'm gonna put it all the way around the edges and let's start with it let's see Back on. Oh, I gotta put down there as well. I went ahead and um, torqued these right here at uh, 41 foot pounds. 41, 2, 3, all the big bolts is going to get 41. 4, 5, and this is the final one. Okay, now. The little ones, the 10 millimeter, now those are going to be 9 foot pounds. I got to go ahead and turn this down. I think it'll go to 9. Should be able to go to 9 foot pounds. 
There you go. Oh, almost on that. Oh, too much. Dang it. Can't get it. I mean, don't have to be exact, but close enough. There you go. Nine foot pounds. Now we're gonna do all the little ones. It's supposed to be a sequence. <sighs> but I'm just gonna do it as I please. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is put this cover on, which I already did here. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. It's just a gasket. It's a metal gasket. Okay. And here is the, uh, the cover. Also, when you order the kit, it comes with uh, three new O-rings. And then you just put them on. Clean it up real good. And try to put it in. Let's see. Give it a little low tap, make sure that it's in. There's a dowel right there. Make sure it's in the dowel. Make sure it's in the dowel. And then we're gonna put the bolts in. They're gonna be at about 102 inch pounds of torque. So I'm not gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm not torquing them down with the drill bit. With the drill, just snug them in there. Okay. We're gonna do it. Two inch pounds of torque. Work on the ground. I went ahead and I installed this um, sensor here. And I'm about to torque it down. It's also going to be around 102 inch pound. Next thing I'm going to put down is this uh, camshaft sensor. I'm just going to torque it to 102 inch pound too. I don't even think it needs to be that much either. But, okay. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and install this crank, the crankshaft pulley. And I ordered the new one that came with, I ordered a new one that came with the kit. I will not be reusing the old bolt. And I make sure that it's clean, free of debris inside the, inside the shaft there. Hit it from the center. Okay, all the way in. Now for the brand new one. I want to put some oil, coat it with some oil. Okay, 19 millimeter. Now, according to the book, it says tighten it to 33 foot pounds. Now it says torque it down to 33 and then go an additional 90 degrees.
There we are. 33. Because I already know I won't be able to go as far as 90. I'm going to have to... If I set it up right here... degree is about here. Now according to the book it says uh, go an additional 90 degrees. I can't go 90 degrees from here that way because I'm gonna hit the car. So I made a mark here and I made another mark at the 90 degree. So that way I know where to stop. Okay. I'm just going to go to 90 degrees. <laughs> oh. Tell you what, I can't go 90 degrees. What do I have to do? Okay, I'm going to put in the brand new spot plugs. And I got some anti -seas. Kind of all globby. I don't have a spark plug um, socket for this, so I'm just going to use a little. Oh crap! I just damaged the spark plug. God damn. I'm going to use this little magnet here because um, I don't have a socket that will hold on to it as I bring it down. I don't want to drop it in there either. Just gonna give it a little bit of twist. And it stayed right in the center. I'm gonna to torque down this prop plug to 14 foot pounds of torque. I'm gonna go ahead and do all the other ones and then let's see where we go from there. I went ahead and reinserted the tube. I, I put new o rings. I put a little bit of oil so it slides really easy. And I went in and I put this little housing on and now I'm gonna torque them down to 80, 80 inch pounds. Inch. Put this idle pulley in. Idle pulley is 21 foot pounds. Torque it down to 21 foot pounds. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm going to install this bracket here. The bolts that I'm using got a little bevel to them, and there's going to be three, one, see that one got a little bevel to it, and then the third one got the little bevel over here too, so it's all going to go here too. Alright, so we're going to install this one first. Pulley goes here. Okay. And now this bracket. This is the power steering pump bracket. And this one's gonna be kind of a pain. I'm not really going to go into details, you know, showing the video on it. But basically this goes back in here. Like so. Then 
for the third bolt. Oh, here he goes. And then the third bolt that's got that bevel is going to go in here. And then I'm just going to put these two in on the side of the block. And I'll be back. Alright, so the uh, two bolts that's holding this bracket on the side of the block. I'm going to torque them to 45 foot pounds. This one here, it's also 45 foot pounds. So, what are these? 45. It wasn't a good idea to put that pulley in beforehand because now it's in the way. Pulleys is gonna go to 21 foot pounds. Okay, and next time I put in these uh, throttle bodies, and they're gonna be torqued down to 75 inch pound. Now I'm going to plug it in. Okay, you hear a little click. There you go. And I'm going to reconnect these hoses. All right, there's a third hose. I forgot about this one. There's a third hose. Plug it in. There you go. Next thing I'm going to put on is the tensioner. And you can see it has a little dowel right there. There's a little hole right there. You just put it in there. And <coughs> tighten that up there. We torque it down to 41 foot pounds. Torquing it down to 41. Okay, I reinstalled the air conditioner and this was at, I tightened the bolts down to 23 foot pounds. I also put the power steering pump back on it. And this one is 23 foot pounds. No, 27 foot pounds. And this one down here, below it, it is 35 foot pounds. Okay, I put the alternator back in, the cable in the back, torque it down to 12 foot pounds. Uh, this is the bottom bracket here is at 21 foot pounds. And the big one right here that goes up against the block, that one is at 48 foot pounds. All right. Now this is the good shot right here of the way the belt goes. Um, went ahead and rewired all the, you know, all the connectors. I put the dipstick back in. And this connector goes there, that connector goes there, you know, it just gets plugged in. Until this cam sensor, another one right here. Uh, I put another one here, you know, so. Yeah, I mean, one thing I do recommend that if you do start to do something like this, take a lot of pictures. Even if it means just going ahead and videotaping yourself. Videotape everything you've done. I put the bracket back on. All the ground is back on. I hooked up my ground there. There's another ground right here behind the, the uh, housing. The thing is I don't recall what these two holes are for. 
That's kind of weird. I already added the oil, and pretty much soon I'm gonna be able to crank this up. I'm gonna keep on going, putting some more vital stuff on. I want to start it, but I don't want transmission fluid to puke out of there, and I need to put some coolant. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm gonna start with putting everything back in, starting with the radiator support. Just a little side note before you start the car, make sure you take the tool back out of the back of the transmission. You certainly don't want to start the car with this thing on it. Alright. Alright, this is the moment of truth. Let's see if it works. 